Hey everyone, welcome back to another unboxing video. Today we're going to be looking at the Jazzwares Arbiter from Halo 5. Uh, very interested to give you my thoughts on that. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at the Haya Toys Predator, the Wolf Predator from Alien vs Predator Requiem, and the Hammond Collection Triceratops. First things first, let me know if you're enjoying this, uh, this type of video. I uh, hope that it kind of cuts down on the rambling. So if you're a, a vocal watcher, then just, you know, drop down. Let me know if you prefer how I'm doing the videos now. But anyways, let's go, to, go ahead and get to the first figure. So here we have the Arbiter from Halo 5. And I gotta say, the design itself is one of my favorite designs for the Arbiter. I know not everyone likes the Halo 4 and 5 design choices, but I just really like how the Arbiter turned out. Wasn't the biggest fan of the Elites from Halo 4 and 5, but I thought Arbiter came out great. As for the figure itself, I think, to be totally honest, it's a mixed bag. There are some things that I think are a huge improvement, such as the sculpting and painting. Uh, the articulation, there's definitely more of it, but I feel like I couldn't really pose him as well. But let's go ahead and take a look at a closer look at it. So taking a look at uh, Arbiter, I mean, as you can see, there's just so much really good detail. Again, that's one thing that this has over the, the Mattel version is just how much is on this figure. And the painting, I mean, it's much more of a bronze is gold, which I think is pretty accurate. I mean, just overall, so much really awesome detail to look at here. As for accessories, he has his Prophet's Bane, which is has a really nice see-through plastic and a pretty overall good shape. Although, I'll show you in a second, it mines came in very warped, and that's the thing I don't like about it. Uh, but here we have the little plasma repeater. Wish he came with a carbine instead. I think that would have been more fitting. But nevertheless, there's a lot of really good detail. And as you'll see in a second, there's even like the little uh, visor thing, or not the visor, the little ammo count thing, which is really cool. And then we get some hands, which the, here's the grabbing hand for the Prophet's Bane. And as you see, it's bent really badly. I just, I'm not a fan of that. Here's the pan to hold the gun, the plasma repeater, um, which as you see me putting in here, I mean, you know, fits in pretty well. You gotta kind of put it in at the right angle, but once you do, it really works. And then here's kind of like an open hand look, you know, which I try to play around with. I don't know what this is. This looks like a thumbs up, <laughs> but then we have another open hand. Going into articulation, again, just like a lot of the figures we've been seeing in the past, there's a lot of hinge joints. This has a double hinge for the, for the elbow, so you can go way past 90. And there's a lot of hinge joints, a lot of swivel joints. So not really gonna be going over a lot of them, just uh, some major ones I want you to take a look at. Now the head, it can look up and down pretty well. It has a swivel at the head, but there's no joint for the neck, which so disappoints me. You cannot get this guy in a lot of a lot of positions because the neck won't move. I don't know why they didn't do that. I don't know why they couldn't just sneak a joint in there. But regardless, that that really frustrated me. And then there's a ball joint for the for the um for the torso, but the armor is scraping the plastic away, which is a kind of bad design uh and then the hip joints are super loose this is where i feel like the toy or this figure really disappointed me that the articulation had so much to be be good but it just kind of fell short but here's me putting him in some poses which again i tried i tried to do i'm never good at posing and i don't think the articulation helped but still for some comparisons here we have the halo infinite master chief which as you can see is a pretty good size i can't wait to see the halo 4 version Here's the Mattel version, which I still say I really like the Mattel version. I even say I think I like some things a little more, but overall, uh, I will say that the new one is definitely a bigger improvement. So that about does it for this figure. Again, a bit of a mixed bag, but I still really enjoy it. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look at the next figure. And here's the Hammond Collection Triceratops, which overall I gotta say is a really solid figure. And yeah, let's go ahead and take a look, closer look at it. So really the articulation, you know, it's just like we've talked about before. It's just uh, a lot of hinge and swivel joints and maybe a couple ball joints. But what I really want to talk about is that I really do like the articulation. You can pose it, at least you can get in a lot of poses, at least for me personally. Like I said, I'm not very good at posing, but it works well enough. And sadly, there's no mouth articulation, which I think is weird. But it's th the articulation is still good enough that you can get it some decent poses. You can get definitely get it in more than the standard Mattel uh, basic line that we get. Um, and so I think that's what makes it, you know, a little more premium, a little more well worth it. 
um but yeah just overall like i said it's basic articulation maybe not as good as something like the beast of mesozoic but it still works well enough that you know i really enjoy playing with this thing uh and plus i mean it's just so good we'll, we'll get to the detail later but yeah i mean i think overall i'm definitely really really impressed with how this figure turned out taking a closer look at the scaling detail i mean it's just great all the wrinkles mixed with all the scales and the pebbling and the osteoderms or whatever they're called like they're just it, it's it's so so good and i actually compared it next to the fallen kingdom the original fallen kingdom triceratops and man just what an improvement all the wrinkles and everything it's I mean, obviously, the designs are different. If you actually look at them, the designs are pretty different. But even then, still, I mean, just, you know, it, I think the Hammond Collection just offers so much more detail that the original did have. But this one just really kind of pushes it a little further. Make Again, making it much more that premium. Uh, just like just right here, the scale, the scaling is just so good. And here we have the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Triceratops. The Hammond Collection Baryonyx and Parasaurolophus. The Hammond Collection Gallimimus and Velociraptor. And the Hammond Collection T-Rex. That about does it for the Triceratops. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next figure. Here we have Hayatoy's Wolf Predator. Now, normally I don't collect Hayatoy's. I collect NECA. But one, they haven't made a Wolf Predator. So I just said, you know what? Screw it. And then two, Hyatt Toys actually been making some Godzilla figures that I really want to check out. So I just want to see how the quality holds up and see what kind of figures they make. And overall, I'd say this is a pretty good figure. Uh, it's There's some things I'm not a big fan of, but overall, this is a pretty solid figure. Taking a look at uh, its accessories, it comes with a little base right here, which you can put on. There's also some little clips that I'll be showing in a second where you can like, uh, it, I imagine you can... Uh, put them on and that way you can put, uh, connect other bases together so like if you want to have a line of predators or if you want to have the by the alien counterpart to this or even the pred alien counterpart and put them together and have them sh like look like they're showing off um so then you have some like you know really good display options um which i'm trying to you know show right here i just put in they're like little h clips that you can just slide on pretty easily um i'm just a little clumsy but yeah and then you can just put the figure on and it stands okay the pegs a little too short for my liking like i feel like the predator just slips off but then we have things like the whip which looks really good at first i tried to put it in his hand but i couldn't really slip it in there but it does kind of just hang on very loosely onto the side of his belt um next you have the little throwing star the, the little shuriken disc which uh one of the hands you can actually just place it in and it holds it pretty decently um and then next is the combi staff which again you can just put into one of his one of the cup hands that he has c cup hands that he has and it goes in there pretty well and he holds it pretty nicely and yeah i mean just a pretty decent amount i wish he had the little gun the little gun that he kind of crafts at the end of the movie but regardless he still has like the plasma casters he still has the backpack and yeah, I mean, just oh, and he comes with extra hands. So one again holds the holds the shuriken, and this one holds the is just like an open hand. And I tried showing you that there is armor under the uh, sleeves, which is really cool. And then yeah, just showing you the articulation. There's a pretty decent amount of articulation. The uh, top of the plasma casters are on ball joints, and then they're just on hinge joints for the bottom. So you can kind of move them up and down, move them around. The head is on a ball joint uh and then and yeah i'm just trying to show you there's no swivel joint for them but it still works there's a lot of and then the wrist blades pop out which is really nice they're actually very long which is cool to see he comes with the little blue liquid thing but the bottle doesn't come out he comes with the bandolier and i'm actually glad the blue liquid doesn't come out because i remember the sh monster i kind of lost that one uh but regardless there's a lot of again swivel and hinges and ball joints uh but there is much it's about if you're familiar with NECA it's pretty much almost identical this is kind of a miniature NECA figure uh and I accidentally took the leg off which is a little funny but yeah I mean like I said it's kind of a miniature NECA figure so if you're familiar with th that articulation it's kind of identical to that at least like the newer ultimate predators that they make so yeah just I really wish NECA would make a wolf predator they need to make one I don't know why they're taking so long but looking at the detail uh, one thing is that, that I never really wanted to collect Hyo is because the detail always looks so... It didn't really look, look like it was very well detailed. 
but take a closer look there is some solid detail there it's not the best like the skin's a little too smooth for my liking but what is there looks really nice the metal especially is very very well detailed like we're gonna see right here in a second as soon as i focus it there is a lot of really awesome texturing going on on the metal pieces that i think really it make it look really nice i wish the skin again had a little more detail but what is there does look solid for a time like this is a very small figure so I, I like just keeping that in mind it is it, it's it where it needs to be detailed it's it's really good um so yeah overall i think that's just that's just kind of my overall feelings i i like this a lot it's not one of my favorite type of figures because but what's there looks really good it handles pretty well so yeah and going on some comparisons here's the NECA scar predator and the scar face just because these are the closest to avps that we have so yeah hopefully like i said hopefully we just get that NECA wolf predator. Thank y'all for watching this video. I hope y'all enjoyed. Be sure to follow my Instagram page, Giovanni Arts Collectibles. I really appreciate if you take a look there. I post pictures of my art, sometimes my collection if I have time. But yeah, just overall, again, let me know if you like how I'm doing the videos now. It really helps me figure out where to, where to take this channel. But anyways, uh, thank y'all for watching and have a great day.